Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back, welcome, welcome, hi, my name is Sla Christodia, in case you're new here, don't forget to press the subscribe button and give it a big fat like. We're doing a vacation prep with me. I need to run a few errands. I gotta return this because I don't need it no more. I need to take off my braids. I have a lot of stuff to do. So I'll keep you on it whilst we do it together. Bye. See ya. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the studio right now. Studio section. You are got a copy now. My song title title vacation prep on iTunes <laughs> SoundCloud. Go grab a copy. Alright, let's get real. Let's get real. Um now I gotta get, get my go get my brows done eyebrow treading then we have to go do a facial i gotta take these i gotta take it off so basically that's it for kitchen prep yes Perfect brow. That's why I get my brows done. Hmm. Yo, I always think when I get my mom and car. Yo, this thing, so much pain. It, it never gets better. Huh? Hi. Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How about you? Good. Tell us your name and who you are. My name is Fanta. I'm the owner of House of Vanity Spa. And yes, and like, I'm an esthetician, a black esthetician here in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. um, I've been an esthetician for, it's going to be about a year in February. Okay. So I'm super excited about that. Okay. Um, I'm in the Bronx here, I do dermal plotting, body waxing, facials, chemical pills, um, all that good stuff. And yeah, I get clients that come all the way from Brooklyn, Rockland County, um, different areas of the Bronx. And it's just fun to be able to be in this industry and be able to show my expertise and also meet and connect with a lot of people like yourself. So, right. Okay. So what did you know now that you're an esthetician, right? Mm -hmm. That when you were a regular person like me, mm -hmm. what what did you know now that you didn't, wait, what do you know now mm -hmm. that you're an esthetician, that when you're a regular person, you didn't know? Um, what I know now is that you need to be patient, just like you need to be patient with anything in life. You need to be patient with your skin. Sometimes, you know, we buy skincare products and we're looking for immediate results. With um, your face, you have to be, you know, very patient. I suffered a lot with hyperpigmentation. So that was, you know, while I was in school and I was educating myself, I didn't know anything about skin, but I had to educate myself and then figure out that my skin needed the love and care and all the correct products that are going to correct my skin, especially my hyperpigmentation. So as an esthetician now, I definitely know that being patient with your skin will give you the result that you're looking for. But if you're looking for any, you know, speeded, you know, things like that, those are things that are not going to correct your problem. It'll actually, you know, damage whatever it is that you're looking to correct. Let's see. I'm going to adjust the YouTube. I hate hearing my voice afterwards. No, no it's fine. <laughs> How often should you demo plan? 
or should you do a facial? How often? So depending on the client, I usually recommend my clients to come at least every four to six weeks. Now, if you are a client that has severe acne, you know, systematic um, cystic acne or whatever, um, you do need to come in at least for a package that I offer at least for every four weeks. That way you can see a noticeable difference. And then I'll also give you a regimen that you can have. And um, during that, you know, regimen and during that time that you're with me and you're working with me, you'll definitely see a notable change in your, in your facial and then also in your face too, just improving your overall. Um, for derma planning, I tell people to come in every six weeks because the vellus hair obviously is the hair on our body and it'll grow back again too. So just to maintain that service, you want to definitely come back in and also get another derma planning. All the derma planning and the scalpels that I use, all the scalpels are new. Um, the blades are new. Everything is new. Nothing is ever reused on clients, and we make sure we, pro we we take care sanitary and all that things here. Okay. Do you think when you do a nighttime routine, mm -hmm. do you still need a morning care routine in the morning the next day? Yes, definitely. If you have uh -huh. a, a nighttime routine, you definitely need a, a morning routine too. Your morning routine and your nighttime routine can sometimes be the same thing, depending on if you're a simple person or just a person who is looking to, again, correct something on your face or you're just looking for some hydration. But it's important that your regimens change as the seasons change too, because some of the items that you're probably using is probably good for the summertime, mm -hmm. where it has less moisture. Mm -hmm. And in the wintertime, you have heavy moisture because your skin can actually take in all of those products. So definitely having a morning and night routine is definitely important. In the nighttime, you could be a lot more harsher compared to the morning. Make sure you're always incorporating SPF into your morning regimen at all times. Hello, hello, good morning. Let me put my mic down so I could talk. We're getting our COVID test done today. I know I look a mess. I know, I know, but it's all right, it's okay. Um, we're getting our COVID test done today and doing a pedicure. Whew. COVID test. From the video that I've watched, the way they put it right down to your nose, I'm a little bit skeptical and anxious. But I hope it goes good. Fingers crossed. And lastly, oh my God, my hair stylist canceled on me. And I gotta fix this hair. I gotta, I'm gonna hold a ponytail. I hope it goes well, cause, where we go, I, I really can't do it. She canceled on me last minute. I had booked no appointment with nobody. So I gotta fix it by myself. Let's see how that goes. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>